Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I have a good one for you today. I'm going to take you on this uh, investing, uh, the stock and my stock investing journey. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is show you how, first of all, how to choose uh, any stock through Cash App. I'm inside Cash App right now, and that is uh, the app where you can transfer funds uh, between two parties that, you know, it was created by Square and the primary use of it is transferring money. But what I'm using it for is to is to invest in Bitcoin and I'm also investing in the stock market. So um, what you see right here now on the screen is my the list of stocks I'm following at the moment. So. Uh, if you go up here, you can see I've already invested my stocks owned. I have Walmart and Wells Fargo and, and, and my journey here is kind of in its infancy stage on Cash App. So I just want to show you uh, how easy it is to invest and some of the options that you have <clears throat> um, that that Cash App gives you uh, to do research and also uh, invest by buying fractional shares of Bitcoin or any stock that you that you choose okay so um again we have walmart wells fargo right there and you can follow any stock you want if you look at the the little search bar right there you can search for any stock you can enter the name of any stock and it will uh locate that stock and you can tap on it and and research or invest or you can also um select one of these options here okay so you can choose by category. We have banking and finance. These are all the banking and finance stocks uh, that are offered. You have, I won't go through all of them, but just to give you an idea, you have businesses, business services. I'm sorry. You have a uh, S and P global. Uh, you have fidelity, Equifax. Uh, let's see. Iron mountain. And then let's get let's go into one that um let's see here. All right. Let's go into one that um you would be familiar with. That everyone would be familiar with. All right, let's go into food. Food and drink. Okay. So uh Walmart, Coca Cola, Target, McDonald's, these are all stocks that are affiliated with uh the food distribution market okay so starbucks um chipotle dollar jump so you can you can use the search tabs and find just about any stock uh again if you if you have one that you want to locate and you know the name of it just enter that in the search bar all right so we've got that out of the way so what i have done i have been following uh this is one of the major the most traded stocks i've been looking at apple here lately so what I'm going to do is set up a buy order with Apple. Apple today is down 2.37%. So I'm going to tap on that and I'm going to show you real quick how to research and look at the history of, of the stock. So this chart is the past 24 hours. As you can see here, uh, I'll, I'll take my finger and run across and it'll show you what it's done uh, since basically since about eight o'clock this morning so it was up 0.7 percent and then it kind of went downhill over the course of the day so right now um it's about 4 30 almost five o'clock p.m and it's down 2.37 percent so over the past week it's down 3.5 percent um over the past month it's down 7.7 percent so i'm gonna put in a buy order for ten dollars uh which basically means at 8 30 tomorrow morning when the market opens it's going to enter my my fractional share purchase of ten dollars so basically one one share right now as you can see here is 159 dollars and 30 cents i'm going to have a fractional share of of that uh, which when the market when it goes up or down that ten dollars will go up or down in, in either profit or loss so um this is how you look at your state you just scroll down underneath that stock and it'll show you key stats share price market cap 
uh, gross profit and then keep going. It'll show you your financials, your annual and quarterly financials and also earnings. So um, it gives you and also this is um, analyst opinion. So you have professionals that look at it and say, "Okay, look, this is a moderate buy, meaning this is something good to buy. Uh, it's on the high, the high end of yes, today is a good day to buy this. Um, and in saying that, I am not a financial advisor or uh, professional. Uh, these videos are for your information and entertainment purposes. If you choose to invest, do so after researching on your own and invest only what you can afford. OK, so let's get that out of the way. All right. So, again, let's go back up here to the top to the the top of the uh the stock and i'm gonna select i'm gonna tap on the buy button all right and like i said i'm going to set up a buy order for ten dollars and then i'm gonna hit the next button and the screen may black out for just a a few seconds i apologize for that but it will come back all right so it's scheduling ten dollars uh, and it's showing uh, tomorrow morning at 8.30 a.m., $10 of Apple. And I'm scheduling that. And it's confirming now that my $10 Apple order will be placed at 8.30. Done. All right. So now we're back on the main screen. And so it's that easy. Uh, so if I um, tap on buy. Okay. Let's see here. I'm sorry. So what you want to do after you've set up a buy order just to make sure everything is set up and you're like, okay, well, did it take it? Did it accept it? Well, if I come out of this, you see that little, um, the little account man at the top, the little stick figure. Well, to the left of that, there's a clock. You tap on that clock. Okay. All right. And then it says pending at the very top. It says pending. Okay, so if I tap on that, it says Apple purchase scheduled ten dollars. Uh, it shows the time that I set it up, and it's showing that it's hold on. It's showing the time also that it's scheduled eight thirty a.m. All right, so that's how you go in and check or double check the order that you just placed. All right, um, and as you can see there, the two stocks I've already purchased. Walmart and Wells Fargo, they're slightly down that down 3% today. So uh, I'm going to hold on to those. Um, and then tomorrow it will add my Apple purchase on top of that. So I'm thinking about going in and buying <clears throat> uh, either adding to one of my already purchased stocks or buying a new stock um, maybe every couple of days. And so I'm going to build my portfolio uh, with you guys. I'm going to show you my journey of setting up and building my portfolio because I want to show you how easy it is to invest in the stock market and get your uh, get your own portfolio set up and and start on your journey um, it's very simple cash out makes it extremely simple um, I love the interface it's it's simple to understand um, in my opinion it, it's not you know how can I put this if you if you get if you become really uh, involved in investing, you may want to not put all your eggs in one basket, meaning you may want to invest on uh, different platforms.